не собираетесь ли вы учить меня смыслу жизни? Hey guys, today we will talk about the meaning of a word that's incredibly popular among Chernobyl fans. Not the Chernobyl miniseries by HBO, but everybody that is interested in its history or encountered some pop culture around it, like games or movies. I mean, of course, Stalker. I have dug deep because I was curious about how exactly this word became a synonym for people visiting the zone. And what I have found is incredibly interesting. Once again, history made a circle around a particular subject. In the previous video I showed you some insights about Chernobyl history and I have also included some linguistic trivia about the name of the place. So where did Chernobyl come from? The link is shown now in the upper right corner, so save it for later and watch it after this one. To sum it up quickly, the word Chernobyl comes probably from Proto-Slavic languages. There are hints that this is a good suspicion because in many current Slavic languages it sounds pretty much the same, like in Polish, Chernobyl. The word itself is probably a combination of two other words, Czorny and Bylu. They accordingly mean black and stalk, meaning a part of a plant. That's with the quick summary. So now you know the basics and it's time to head towards the harder part. We will lean over stalker in a similar way. But I think it's more interesting because of the many coincidences and links between different meanings, especially regarding the different times it was used. But to be more enigmatic, I will reverse the timeline. I will start with the most recent uses and then proceed deeper into its history. So the first, probably the most well-known example for players, is the Stalker game series. I've played all of them more than once and I have a huge sentiment towards it, especially the Polish version had unique audio thanks to the very characteristic voice of a lector, Mirosław Utta. Wszelkie próby wtargnięcia do strzeżonej strefy zostaną ukarane w odpowiedni sposób. I didn't learn about Chernobyl disaster from these games, but to be honest, they have interested me so much that I started to discover more on my own. So the series name tells us basically everything. The main character of Stalker is, well, a stalker, not like a person who stalks other people. No. The meaning of this word in this situation is a person who collects artifacts inside the zone, a fictional place based on Chernobyl exclusion zone, but in a different timeline, where a second disaster happened in 2010. The game was released in 2007, by the way. To be more precise, in this case, a stalker is a person who is in this fictional zone, because in the game it's forbidden to travel or stay there. The name of the game is also a play on acronyms. It stands for scavengers, trespassers, adventurers, loners, killers, explorers and robbers. So this basically includes all people illegally residing in this fictional zone, as the government and army forces perceive everyone there as outlaws. We as the developers of Chernobylite are not far from the origins of this stalker meaning as well, as we adopted it too. One of the main characters in our game is called Black Stalker, and you can hear this word at least a few times during gameplay, for example when different NPCs speak to you or each other. Stalker in that form is a word that describes a person that lives in, travels through or visits the Chernobyl exclusion zone. Also, the guides can be called that and the term basically stuck with them. Sounds interesting? We're just starting guys. However, in the gaming community it's fairly common to believe that the GSC world, the developers of mentioned game, coined the term and this is not true. Let's travel back in time to 1979, when Andrei Tarkovsky movie was released, Stalker. We will get to its script a bit later, but it's worth noting that this movie preceded the Chernobyl disaster by a few years. The interesting thing is that however Tarkovsky pictured a fictional future, kind of post-apocalyptic in its own way, the atmosphere of the movie was really deep and grim, and it corresponded to the atmosphere of the Chernobyl disaster fairly well even though it was released in 1979 and the disaster happened in 1986. The background of the movie is that there were UFO landings in six places around the world and they left within two days. Despite not being seen by anyone, either during landing, leaving or simply being there, they left a mark on those grounds. The landing zones are a few square kilometers each and they are home to many indescribable incomprehensible phenomena. Also, there are alien artifacts that possesses different powers. Soviet Union or not, if there is something somebody wants, 
At some point there will appear a person that can deliver it. So these zones, however greatly dangerous, are now home to people who are called by others and call themselves too. Stalkers. These stalkers travel to zones to look for scavenge or buy artifacts to later smuggle them through zones border in order to sell them for a really good price. If you played stalker, it should sound very similar, right? That's because it basically explores the same idea, but the background is the Chernobyl disaster, not the aliens landing on Earth. However, the games are mostly focused on entertaining the players. The movie has a deep psychological, philosophical and even theological meaning too. I always thought that Tarkovsky wanted the viewers to wonder. Nothing in particular about, just to ask themselves some questions. But let's travel back in time again. It's 1972 and an important book was just published. Roadside Picnic is believed to be one of the most influential books ever written. At least I think so, especially since I really like science fiction and post-apocalypse in general. The authors, brothers Arkady and Boris Strugatsky, created a world where Earth faces the aftermath of extraterrestrial landings. Yes, it's basically the foundation of The Stalker by Tarkovsky. So, you shouldn't be very surprised if I tell you that the Strugatsky brothers wrote the screenplay for the movie. And yes, the book is most probably the first official material that used the word stalker in that meaning. So to sum it up, stalker in the roadside picnic is a nickname for any person engaged in any way in smuggling, scavenging for or trading alien artifacts from the zones. But the stalker is not the only one that interprets Strugatsky's book. As I watch almost everything that created that kind of atmosphere, I honestly found a movie from 2018 called Annihilation interesting. You might recognize it because Natalie Portman starred there. However, it was based on the novel that goes by the same name. I found a lot of similarities between the movie, Tarkovsky's movie, and Strugatsky's book. Sorry, <laughs> enough digressions for now. The term stalker, thanks to an iconic book and movie, became a part of the Russian language. Later, thanks to other publications like movies, TV series, games, it was distributed to other countries as well, even though Strugatsky's book was translated into dozens of languages over the years. The authors themselves said once that this word became the most popular of their neologisms. Having in mind that the younger brother, Boris, lived until 2012, probably he wasn't surprised that the word they have coined started to be used as a descriptive term for people visiting different abandoned sites and ghost towns, not only the Chernobyl exclusion zone. But there is a plot twist yet again. However, authors of the roadside picnic basically created the stalker word in this meaning, they did have a little help from their own favorite book from their childhood. They didn't hide that they made their stalker as an allusion to Rudyard Kipling's book called Stalky and CEO, published in 1899, which they read as children as it was translated into Russian. Leaving the plot of the book aside, the main character, Arthur Lionel Corcoran, is called Stalky. To understand the meaning of it, we have to read what he and other characters talk about. No, I ain't. But this isn't Stalky enough for me. Stalky in their school vocabulary meant clever, well considered, and willy as applied to plans of action. And stalkiness was the one virtue Corcoran toiled after. Same thing, said McTurk. You think you're the only Stalky chap in the call. This meaning kind of corresponds with Strugatsky's Stalker as the people that scavenge the hazardous zones definitely have to be clever, stealthy and resourceful. But as it often happens, even the mentioned word stalky isn't actually anything new as it too has some roots of its own. Okay, I think I used all the cultural references, so we're left with linguistics one more time. The word stalk and stalking were and are present in many Indo-European languages, written or pronounced differently, of course, but nonetheless with similar meanings. Through ancient Greek's stelos, Old Armenian steun, Old English stela and stalu, Icelandic stilkur, Danish stilk, or Proto-Germanic stalus, or stalo, we finally get to the Scottish Middle Ages. In 1424, the word stalker was first written in English and it appeared in Scottish legislation and referred to the stalker as a poacher of deer. So the outlaw narrative comes back again. Clearly, a person hunting deers illegally had to be quite stealthy and witty, but also an agile one. And that's why one of the meanings of stalker 
is a person who walks with big steps. For many decades, if not centuries, a stalker was in some way referring to a person pursuing animals. The newer meaning appeared in the last century, probably around 50 or 60 years ago. And this, of course, is the less nice one. Stalker, in current meaning, is a term often used in law. When someone called a stalker is a person who violates laws or even commits a crime. Well, that was a fun trip for me, guys. I hope you had a good time too. I honestly didn't anticipate that so simple subject as the etymology of a word will have such deep roots. Let me know in the comments if you liked this video. I really enjoyed creating it and I hope that you learned something new, or at least something interesting. Stay safe, take care, and see you next week, guys.